rubber is beginning to meet the road. And the road is leading to the playoffs, or if you will, proverbially not taken. Tonight's game, the Las Vegas Raiders. The Las Vegas Raiders are hosting the Los Angeles Chargers. The Los Angeles Chargers are playing out a string. They are not going to make the playoffs this this just in, to use the Berman phrase. They're not making the playoffs, but they've got three more games to go to prove they want to play for their coach, they want their coach to be there, to get Justin Herbert, who is now in, uh, after starting week two in an emergency fashion, uh, is now entering week 15. This is the proverbial rookie wall, all right? This is the proverbial rookie wall. When you got yourself 13 weeks of football, this is usually when you're you're getting ready for your bowl game. You got a nice month off. Or your bowl game is your 13th game, right? So you got that going on for the Los Angeles Chargers, who would love nothing more than to stick a fork in the, the Las Vegas Raiders. Okay? Way back in the day, kids. <laughs> this used to be San Diego and Oakland. <laughs> Let's take you back in time. And by that, I mean about four years ago. <laughs> this used to be San Diego and Oakland. And um, and so these two teams don't like each other. This is at the bottom of the pile of Danian Thomas and getting his ankle twisted and stuff like that. That's what this used to be. And, um, you know, obviously used to be uh, much worse than that back in the day. So um, this is a big one. And the Las Vegas Raiders who beat the New Orleans Saints in week two. If you remember that, the Las Vegas Raiders were the first team to make everybody nationally wonder if Breeze had it anymore. Okay. Uh, Then the Las Vegas Raiders went to New England, didn't fare very well, but how to work against the Buffalo Bills, right? Looked pretty good. Bills got a nice play from Josh Norman. Things weren't looking all too great for the Las Vegas Raiders. But then they beat the Kansas City Chiefs. Huh. All right. (laughs) Then the Tampa Bay Buccaneers came in, didn't look too good. Cleveland Browns, not so good. Then they started winning some football games. And, um, And put themselves in a very nice position, sitting at six and three. And ever since then, they've lost three or four. And they could have lost four in a row coming into tonight's game if it wasn't for the magic, which is the way that it should be phrased, the magic of Greg Williams. If it wasn't for that magic, that sorcerer's magic. But the Raiders, remarkably, coming in tonight, have a tie break on the Cleveland Browns if they could actually put it on the Las Vegas table and cash it. I don't think that ticket's going to... That doesn't look like one of those tickets that gets cashed right now in Las Vegas. But in order to have a shot at it, thinking that the Browns have taken on a Giants team that needs it this weekend, and then the Browns taking on a Steelers team that's probably going to need it in Week 17. This is it. The 6-3 and three Raiders that looked like they were potentially playoff bound that made me think that they could actually do it. Now at 7-6, and six, tonight's the night. On a short week at home against the Chargers, this is where it looks like the Raiders can put their foot in the ground, win three in a row, go 10-6, and six, hope for the best. Hope for the best. Would it be Cleveland Browns-like prior to this year for them to lose two of their final three and the Raiders win their last three games and there is an actual head-to-head tie break between the Raiders and the Browns for that seventh seed? Is that possible? Is it possible that the Miami Dolphins can come into this weekend in week 15 uh, and go into action this weekend against the New England Patriots? Lose that one. The Vegas Raiders take care of business against Miami. That would be a big week 16 game. And then Miami loses to Buffalo. And then suddenly they're out. Raiders are on top of them. They've got a tie break against the Browns and the Dolphins going into week 17. These are the possibilities going down right now. Entering tonight's game. You can sit here and think the Las Vegas Raiders are dead and buried. They blow out their defensive coordinator after not being able to stop a single thing. Phillip Rivers and the Colts threw at them. They do bring in an old hand in Rod Marinelli, so he would know how to get things tightened up 
in just a couple of days' time for tonight's game against the Los Angeles Chargers and win that one and get the mini buy against the Miami team that could come in with two straight losses if we lose to New England at home, which is possible. Don't forget, New England rose from the ashes against the Ravens. New England boat raced this Chargers team that we're seeing tonight. It would be the most 2020 thing for Belichick and the Patriots to go down and beat the Miami Dolphins. Belichick does very well in games against former assistants. So there is right now a roadmap. I just laid it out for you. It doesn't look very pretty. For the Raiders, it doesn't look very probable. Certainly when you've got a Ravens team that is throwing their hat into the mix with Lamar Jackson looking the way that he looks. And they have very winnable games against Jacksonville and Cincinnati wrapped around a game against the Giants, who, as we know, can show up in a carriage or a pumpkin. We don't know. We'll see again Sunday night against the Browns on NBC. But entering tonight, this is the stage rubber meeting the road for the Los Angeles Chargers going into Las Vegas. This is the rubber meeting the road for the Las Vegas Raiders. Their first season in Vegas, seven and six, once upon a time, six and three. Can they win their final three? In which they would be going against a mixture of teams, Indianapolis, Baltimore, Miami, and Cleveland, and they would have the tie break head to head against Miami and the tie break head to head against Cleveland because of that week eight, 16 6 win for the Raiders in Cleveland. They would have all of those going for them. The problem is, is they need to just be head up, heads up with them. If there's another team in the mix, if there's another team in the mix with a better conference record, that's a problem. Three way ties you don't want if you're Las Vegas. You want head to head against Miami, and you want head-to-head against Cleveland. Can those chips fall, to use the Vegas term, in that manner? That's tonight. We will discuss what must be going through John Gruden's brain when it comes to his quarterback and Derek Carr, who has not played well over the last four weeks at all, with the exception of finding Darren Waller to the tune of 200 yards receiving in New Jersey against the Jets and making that beautiful throw to Henry Ruggs at the end. The gift. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.